Hi guys, it's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back today. And if you're new here, welcome. I do lots of DIYs, trash to treasure, furniture flips with my husband Chris, and thrifting for farmhouse decor. So in today's video, I am going to show you how I upcycled some vintage old windows and some unwanted frames. Now I, you know, kind of had quite a hoard, so I just picked five, so I hope this isn't overwhelming. So a couple of them are some old windows, and I wanted to show you the process. Um, I'm not discouraged by old windows when the glass is broken out, so I wanted to show you that. And then a process of putting pallet wood into windows, you know, to give it another use. And, and then um, a dear friend, um, thrifted out of somebody's trash and in a pink old frame so um, I wanted to show you that so that's what today's video is about is me upcycling some old windows and some frames so I'm hoping to inspire you to look at frames and windows in a different way so here are the windows and the frames that were thrifted and the pink one was given and so these are the ones we're going to be giving new life to so the first thing chris is going to do is remove the one side of this window's broken glass piece i mean the glass is still good and you can put pallet wood in the other side so i just love old windows so would you pick up an old window if the glass was broken I'm not intimidated by how dirty they are or how broken the glass are. They still are just so beautiful. On this floor pane window, one side was red and one side was the dirty old white. And the pane, um, there was no caulking whatsoever in them anymore. So I was going to have him remove all four pieces of glass and then I will glue um, so it's nice and tight so you can use it as a decor piece and I will keep the one side red and then I will paint the other side just to seal in that and make it a little bit wider. I paid five dollars for this window. Would you have not paid anything for it at all and then thrown it out as trash? So on this pink frame a friend of mine actually picked it out of her neighbor's trash and thought I could do something with it and I was so happy she did. It was old and has a lot of decorative and it has some chipping but that's the nice piece, things about these um, old frames and windows. There's just so much character. And so we just love to put um, pallet wood because you can stain it and distress it and whitewash it. And it just is just a nice decor piece. So not every frame can get pallet wood. This one just happens to be a nice thick frame. So the pallet wood, um, just to keep it in its raw state, um, is thin enough that he can attach it with some glue and some brad nails. Even though pink's a nice color for other people's houses, that doesn't really fit into my farmhouse decor. So this frame from Habitat, I watched it sit there for a long time and it was only $2, but it was super, super heavy but I just knew once I could paint it white and put some pallet in there, it would just do stress beautifully. There's just something about that variation of the pallet wood, the different colors in it that I just absolutely love. So I know you can't tell that that's a window because it's so dirty, but that is a window at the top and then he's gonna put pallet wood on the bottom, which I absolutely love. I have made a few of these from broken windows in the past and I absolutely love the way they turn out. So now this old frame was just something I picked up for like, I think of a dollar nine at Goodwill. Now it was way too thin to be able to put pallet wood, so he is going to be putting a piece of beadboard in it. But I absolutely love the detailing around the edges of the frame. I just knew that they would distress beautifully. So now that Chris did his half of the work, it's on to me to finish it up. Mm -hmm. 
So to clean these, I'm just going to use some distilled vinegar and a hot bucket of water. So after getting them all cleaned and dried, I taped off because I just want to whitewash the pallet wood. So my paint of choice to paint the two frames black is the ready to use black onyx that I get at Walmart in the flat. So I'm gonna try to cover up this pink as best as I can. It'll probably take a couple coats for the pink. So these two frames are the only ones I'm choosing to paint black first, just to tie that kind of goldy in with that um, beadboard and cover up that pink. So I'm using my go-to of the Kills Paint and Primer Flat White. On the edge of this piece, and it being as solid wood as it is, I'm just going to be giving it a few coats of white because I know when I go to sand it, it will show some of that dark stain through and also go down to the natural color. So for this window pane, I'm just going to give it one coat of white, just to kind of brighten that white up, and I'm not going to touch the red on the other side of it. So they're starting to look um, a lot better and all cleaned up, and you can actually see that glass now. So now I'm just going to give the palette wood a dry brushing of the white just to tie the frame in with the palette wood. I definitely don't want to cover up the uniqueness of the different colors in the palette wood, but I do want to tie it all together. And when I sand with a rotary sander um, on the sides, I will go over the palette wood also to take that um, roughness down and make take down some of that white. So now it's on to giving a few of these pieces a sanding. And so first I'm going to do the four pane. I just I just want to bring back some of that natural that was underneath it, but just it just needed a little bit of coat of white just to clean it up. And on this um, big frame, just taking the roughness down of this palette wood and then it just kind of takes some of that real where it got too white on the palette wood and just kind of blends it all together and I'm you'd be amazed there was actually some detail on this frame that you couldn't see when it was all brown so on these two frames I needed to bring them inside for some reason the black was not drying as fast as the white so I had to clear out space. So now they're getting their couple coats of white. Look at that detail. I'm so glad that my friend pulled this out of her neighbor's trash. There's just something so satisfying about giving a item new life. So on these two frames, I'm going to be hand sanding it, especially on this pink one, because I don't want to go all the way down and to show or to expose too much of the pink. That way I can control my detailing. And before I get ready to stencil on this glass with some vinyl, I want to make sure that I get my edges nice and cleared up. Years of caulking on this. Even though I cleaned it, I like to make sure that it has nice crisp edges. So now on the ones that have palette, I'm going to be using this hanger. It's just a little white hanger, you know, that way you can change out the wreath if you want. And I just need to pre-drill it and then screw it in as simple as that. Of course, I need to measure where each one of them is going to go, but... So like I always say, the hardest part of any project is coming up with the idea. So I chose mercantile for this half palette, half window. So this um, mercantile font is from the design store and it is a design all itself, but I am not gonna be using all the wording that's with it. I'm gonna kinda change it out to make it my own. So I pre-measured on this window where center would be on the size, with what the size of my stencil was going to be. So this is my completed stencil. This I just kind of like that little main street and mercantile kind of cup it. Simple that you could put it in any room of your house. So here's the $2 Habitat for Humanity frame with the pallet wood. How I love how it distressed. There was all that little 
edges on that frame that I knew once I took the sander to it, it would just pop it out and make it old and vintage. And I love how this green wreath just accents that pallet wood and the whitewash on the pallet wood and that frame just ties it together. Doesn't that just scream farmhouse? And I'm so glad that my friends saved this from their neighbor's trash. You can't even see that wear on it now that it's painted in distressed. It just pops out that detail and just gave it a whole new life. And I thought with the elegance of the detail on this frame, it just deserved that lavender wreath. The nice thing about the way I put the hooks on these frames, these pallet woods, is that you can change out the wreaths through the seasons. Now the frame with the piece of beadboard in it is a little bit smaller than the other two, so I didn't want to overpower it. But wow, look at how that detail just popped out, just gave a nice distressing. And it was worth the time to paint that beadboard black, even though it was already white at first, because now it just pops that detailing in the beadboard. So I chose a simple grapevine wreath with a little bit of lamb ear and some cotton just to give it a nice, clean farmhouse look. So I'm glad I kept the back side of this window pane red and I didn't touch it, but I do like that I um, freshened up that bright white just to um, give it a little bit fresher look and put a um, beautiful baby's grass wreath on it. I am definitely happy that this did not go to the garbage and it could be used as a nice wall decor. Definitely fits into the farmhouse. So I love doing these half pallet, half window. I love being able to put um, a decor item on the top and then putting a simple word on that glass and then just freshening up the paint and giving it a nice clean distressing. I hope this has given you an idea of what to do with a window when you come across it when it is half broken to give it new life. So I hope you enjoyed today's content and I hope I've inspired you when you're out garage sailing, thrifting, or scavenging anywhere that you see any of these items that you can, oh hey I know what to do with that. So I hope I've inspired you. So thank you so much for watching today's video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider it. That lets YouTube know that I'm doing the kind of content that people enjoy.